Let's look at the hybridization for N2O. For the nitrogen atom on the left, we have a pair of unbonded electrons, then we have a sigma bond and two pi bonds. We're going to count the sigma bond, ignore the pi bonds, and we're going to count that pair of electrons. So we have two things attached to that nitrogen there on the end. That means we'll have an S and a P orbital, and it'll be SP hybridized. For the nitrogen in the center, we have the sigma bond again and the two pi bonds, and we also have a sigma bond between the nitrogen and oxygen. So we have two sigma bonds. We have our S and P, which gives us SP hybridization on that central nitrogen. Finally, on the oxygen, we have the sigma bond, and then we have one, two, three pairs of electrons, unbonded electrons. So we have a total of four things attached to that oxygen. That means we'll have an S and three Ps, or SP3 hybridization on that oxygen. This is Dr. B with the hybridization for N2O, and thanks for watching.